this is the animation tab here okay let me select an image here you want an animation on this particular tab on this image let's say so uh, see here you can see you have multiple options here just hover it again on these options it will show you how your uh, how it will affect or to your image let's say float in split or wipe or fade fly in shape wheel or random bars it takes a little time to actually pop up but yeah it's a pretty cool feature here you can select anything from here or uh, let's say bounce <laughs> it's pretty simple right and it's zoom here so this is the way how you can actually select these features from here and uh, like uh, okay in this uh, you have more options as well like let's say click in here click on more entrance effects you will get this box here again you can select from here and you will see the effect so these also have some like uh, more options moderate like basic zoom you want float or boomerang or basic swell curve up so this is the way how you can see it and like you want more emphasize effects let's say grow and shrink let's say client color transparency she wants pen cool so uh, you can select it from here and it is like it has multiple options what maximum options you can have it has all and uh, also like uh, let's say I have this effect here and uh, just click on animation pane it gives you more effects like uh, how you want these are the options like you want to start on click you want to start with the previous you want to start after previous or the effect options you have like you want sound here let's say how it will look like okay and let's say or uh, you want some more effects after animation the timings let's say the delay will be five seconds duration repeat you want so like if you click on play here just hit a play here it will give you an effect what you have selected from here if you want to fly in it will give you in like this you can see here play and it will give you give you an effect and again here you have one more option effect options just click here you have multiple options here you want your uh, image to come from left to come from bottom left from top left from top from top right right and bottom right and now you can play it so this is these are the very cool features and very handy features like you can uh, just uh, uh, preview on your work area only also like you have one more option apply to all whatever the like uh, selections you are making for this particular slide it will come it come in effect to all the slides you have let's say i want a dissolve feature i want a dissolve effect let's apply to all now let's preview it this is the slide this is the first slide and this is the second slide let's preview this one so this is the way how you can apply a single effect to all your slides what you have in your uh, data okay uh, if you will scroll more like uh, on this particular area you will see more options let's say loop it will go in loop the how effect you want or you want inverted shape this will work you want special shapes you want star or let's say i show you okay you want spiral these are the cool effects like how you can let's see logged and you want preview this will effect and you have right you have preview again you have edit points you want your point to be like this you want your preview to be start from here let's say and you can edit your points the way you want it will go like this so this is the way how you can actually animate your image 
or the reverse path so this is the way how you can give an effect and let's go to slideshow slideshow pan it has so many options here you can start your slideshow from beginning okay or uh, from a current current slide like let's say you have this current slide here you want this preview for this particular slide then you can go for it like um, you want current slide you want broadcast slide slideshow if you want to send in uh, let's say particular uh, uh, this slide to your peer or to your manager you just say broad broad broadcast slide show microsoft from powerpoint live create a broadcast let's say you need a username and password of yours and you can just send it back to uh, like you need a password for a hotmail if you have an account or you have gmail account just give a username and password here and you can continue further and you can send that particular slide to your manager and he doesn't require to have a powerpoint even to his machine so this is again a cool feature you want a custom slideshow let's say you want a new here you want slide one let's say add here and okay you want to edit that let's say here and end okay and say show also you have a uh, like uh, record slideshow this is again a cool feature you can record your whole like uh, slideshow uh, either click it from here start recording start recording from here or you can either you can start recording from here you can start it from start recording from beginning or start recording from current slide uh, or you can do that just click in here on orange color uh, it will open your open up your uh, like uh, menu items and you can select here share and then you can say create a video and uh, here like how much spend uh, time you want to spend on uh, the, each slide and just say create video it will give you an option to save it somewhere and it will start recording your slides and how you want your slides to be like uh, you just need to give an effect to every slide and just say create uh, your video it will create a video that will in WNV format so this is these are the cool features of PowerPoint 2010. I hope you will enjoy these features by creating a slides. I have created multiple slides like those are pretty cool slides and uh, uh, enjoy this video.